I got a text from Grinelli today asking me about what time the interview was because they had a happy hour. And I, was, I said what time it was. And he's like, all right, I'm, I'm sending Biz to the office now. And I was like, uh oh. Is he buckled? And he just said, yeah. So <laughs> I don't know what we're going to get uh, on his rub. That was also like an hour ago. And he's nowhere to be found. So I think, he's, I think he might be in the studio. Oh, really? Yeah. Sleeping? I don't know. Well, we should give him as much time as he needs then. Just let him chill out. You should go in there and see if he's just poke the camera in. All right, what up? I thought you might be sleeping. Hank Who is? Hank, Hank thought you might be. No, no. You're good? I am fucking tired, and this is work at this point, and I'm exhausted because I wanted a four day live stream heater. <laughs> At the last minute bullpen call we had uh, who's like a, who's the famous manager jake he uh, called the lefty in i mean i feel like all managers do that. <laughs> bobby cox bobby cox oh, that's that's a good one. One. give me a good one jake bobby cox is a good one fine bobby cox for crying out loud <laughs> but no but when we get the cameras rolling and i get the fucking chirp pmt is it PFT or PMT? The show is PMT. He is PFT. Oh, is that, oh, the long hair guy is PMT. <laughs> you fucking knew that. Um, and especially Big Cat about uh, Brooks Kepka. What a loser. He lost to a 50-year-old. He got bent over by a senior goddamn citizen. <laughs> they asked for Wit to fucking come on. Wit had to take the train home because he's got two kids and he's got responsibilities. And they said lowest common de denominator. We got biz coming on. We wanted RA, but Rear Admiral was full. <laughs> Knicks are actually like kind of a fun team. You would like the Knicks. The Knicks coach looks like an absolute slop tart. He is a hockey coach in a, in a suit. He's a slop tart. Like just like grimy. He gets, you know the players that got the depth gel in the locker room? Yep. He's doing the slick back. With That's the what I'm saying. He's a ten hole. Coach. With the ten hole. You've retired since become a basketball guy. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? There you go. Give this guy some. Give this guy a couple of days off. What's up, Jake? He dropped the gloves. Would you just be like, no thanks? I think I'd be like, no thanks. No. Uh, he's, that was. Yeah. He's got you in the torture. There never be any beef. He's got you in the torture. Never. There's, we never had any beef. We no, worked together at the Penguin yeah, Cup. We're a great broadcast team. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm crippled. I'm crippled right now. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it all together for this PMT episode. And it's fucked up because it's like... We did four streams in a row. Four days. Oh my god. O OMG. Iron Man. The Iron Man. Oh, shut the fuck up. Right Listen, I know you guys do your... Four streams in a row? Damn. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm running on fumes I right now. I literally right. just farted his entire way into the studio. <laughs> outside the door. No, no, no. Outside the door. Did it, did it trail me? <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard it, and then I was like, oh, yeah. No, no, oh, no, no, yeah. I'm getting now. Ass. Yeah, I got a little uh -huh. bit. It's Paul Bissonette. You can probably smell it through your it earphones. Caught, yep. It got caught in the tracksedo shorts. <laughs> I tried to I tried to give it the old Is there anything worse? There's nothing worse than being like, all right, I'm doing the right thing. I'm going to fart outside of the room and just having it just tail all the way I actually didn't give one fuck. I wish okay. I would have let it rip right in the middle <laughs> of the room. You should have. Two hours later. Oh, nice. There's nothing worse than a pussy palace. having someone doing a full podcast that you thought was a banger and having someone sleep through the entire thing. Like, that's such an ego check on us. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. <laughs> he didn't wake up for pizza either.